All right, I'm here with Abdullah Bundu, senior on the Quinnipiac men's basketball team, following their 98-92 to loss to Monmouth. Abdul, what are your immediate reactions after this loss? Our emotions are still trying to catch up to me, to be honest with you. you know, I'm still trying to believe that everything is, you know, in a sense, over for me. And like the season's over for us, um, it's free in regards to, you know, just uh, playoffs and all that other stuff. You know, hopefully we get one more chance for a postseason. Um, and IT, CBI, however, whatever one of those, and just, you know, look forward to that. But, you know, I, for me personally, I'm still from trying to believe that everything is over. So. Obviously, this is a hard moment for you. When you look back on your four-year four year career here at Quinnipiac, what moment really stands out among the rest? That's tough, to be honest with you. But, I you know, I probably have to say my freshman year when you know, I played my first Quinnipiac basketball game. You know, I still remember my first bucket. And, you know, it was that uh, that feel from – we didn't win the game, but I know just play, being out there, you know, having support system from the school and, and from my coaches and then from the team that I played with that year, you know, I just knew that I was going to end up, you know, loving it here all four years. Yeah, you've played under two coaches, Tom Moore and now Baker Dunleavy. Mm -hmm. What do you think your legacy, um, the senior class's legacy here with you and the Robinsons and Cam Young here at Quinnipiac? Uh, it's going to be historic, you know. We, I feel like we've done seen it all, to be honest with you. The good, the bad, the ugly, we've seen it all. And, you know, we can honestly say we left our marks. You know, both coaches were really good, are really good coaches. And, you know, two different styles of plays, but, you know, they had their ups and downs. We had, like, even our current coaches, they did a good job with just what they do. And, you know, we've had our ups and downs, as you, as you see. But, you know, honestly, I just feel like what me and the Twins and Cam were able to pull off in the past, you know, me and the Twins been here four years and Cam been here three plus years, three years. It's been a, it's been historic in my eyes, man. Uh, obviously, Baker's brought a lot of promise to this program. What do you think the future of this program holds going forward, especially with the young core that this team now has in place? It's in good hands, you know. I can see it in their eyes already after they lost. You know, humble and hungry, like we always say. But it's, the program is definitely in good hands, good coaching staff, you know, a good group of guys that are currently here, a good group of, group, good group of guys coming back. And then, you know, they can recruit the hell out of players. So, you know, they definitely have a good group of guys coming in. So this program will definitely be in good hands, and I'm happy to leave it, you know, with the players that are in right now and the coaching staff, you know. Right. Thank you, Abdul. That's all we got. It's been a privilege to cover you these past four years. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for all the support, everybody. No matter who you are, I appreciate all the support, man. Thank you.